Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol HEMP. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time frame, then it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Now, before I go any further, you know, I, from a presentation standpoint, this chart is actually kind of tricky to talk about because there's a lot of perspective that goes into it. What do I mean by that? Well, if you're a day trader, flipper, whatever you want to call yourself, for example, and you bought somewhere right around there, or you bought right there, and you wanted to sell within 20 minutes after buying, then yeah, for you, the chart's, you know, probably looking pretty rough. Now, if you care about the big picture of things, I get it. From the highs, the price did pull back. But from the grand scheme of things, the bulls do still have an opportunity to build a higher base. And as long as you have higher bases being built over longer periods of time, that's how long-term uptrends are constructed. I'm gonna be talking about things from a big picture point of view. So if I sound crazy calling something bullish, my guess is you probably had more of a day trader type perspective going into things. But to kind of really illustrate this point, I wanna scrunch up a chart here just a tad and then focus on one area here. And this is gonna be an area of support where, like I said, I'm not saying the price is headed down here, but just to illustrate, you know, kind of the, the grander scheme point here, and that is right here at 0.033. So let's say the price does indeed come back down and test 0.033. So the price comes down here, but when it gets there, it, it behaves in that manner and then starts to work its way back upwards. Now, emphasis on big picture. From the big picture point of view, what would you have? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have some lows right there. You'd have lows right here. You'd have these lows down here. If you picture each of these as stair steps, then what would you have? Well, from the big picture, you'd very clearly have big picture stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. And that's the name of the game. That's why I say that, yeah, pulled back some today, but grand scheme of things viewpoint, everything's still totally fine. Again, I fully am aware that if you're a day trader and you bought up there, then you don't care about these stair steps. But that's why I try to offer up a warning that I would be making these comments from more so a grand scheme of things perspective. So sure, today the price pulled back, but stop and think about that word, today as in one day, looking at multiple days, which is what we're doing here, you can see the price still has plenty of opportunity to build a higher base. So yeah, going forward, top priority right now for the bulls, in my opinion at least, is all about chipping away and building a higher base. So let's see if the price can get that job done or not. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.